The conflict in the Middle East this morning, both Iran and Israel are trying to turn down the heat and what many had feared could be a major escalation in the region. ABC's Tom Sufi Burge is following developments from Israel, including late word this morning of a blast at an Iranian backed army base in Iraq. Tom, good morning to you. Good morning, Janae. Yeah, an explosion overnight at the base of a pro-Iranian militia in Iraq. That militia reporting casualties, the U.S. military denying any involvement, no comment from the IDF. Of course, it comes less than 24 hours after that Israeli strike on Iran. New satellite images showing damage to an Iranian military base near the city of Isfahan. A senior U.S. official telling ABC News Israeli jets fired at least three missiles from outside of Iranian airspace at a radar defense system protecting a key Iranian nuclear facility, adding the nuclear site was not the target, but underlining that Israeli attack designed to be a warning that Israel can hit Iran's most precious assets. Iranian officials playing down the attack, Israeli officials not commenting. Both sides dialing down the temperature. So this weekend, the threat of a direct war between Israel and Iran, these two regional military powers subsiding. But Israel's battle with Iranian proxies in this region will continue. Iran's massive aerial assault on Israel last weekend, precipitated by that Israeli strike in Syria earlier this month, which killed two Iranian generals. This morning, no imminent threat to U.S. forces in the region, but a U.S. official saying there remains a risk of retaliatory attacks from Iranian proxies. Wait. Yeah, the entire world on edge waiting to see what happens next. Tom, thank you.